guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming back. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be on a homeschool topic, which I'm sure you got from the thumbnail of this video. Um, but really, I think that these tips can apply to any mom out there, not just a homeschooling one. Um, however, homeschooling does bring about a little bit more of a need for maybe some sanity saving. I just like to be honest with you guys. Um, my, I love homeschooling my kids. I love my kids. I love spending time with my kids, but I am also a human being who needs a break from kids every now and then. And so I just want to share with you guys five of my sanity saving tips for moms. And so I'm just going to get right into it. Before I do though, I want to know what are some of your sanity saving tips for moms? Let us, let me know down below, especially if it's something that I have not mentioned. Okay. So five sanity saving tips for homeschooling moms. Number one, make sure that you have margin in your days. Yes. White space, space where st things are not scheduled. You will save yourself so much sanity by not over scheduling yourself. So that is my number one tip. It is way easier said than done. And I have recently made some changes to my life to have more sanity and it has been amazing. So number one, keep some free space in your days as a homeschooling mom. Number two, make sure that you are getting physically active every single day. Now, I know as a homeschooling mom, that is difficult. That is hard. Your kids are with you. You can't just pop into a Pilates class that doesn't offer childcare. I understand, but you have, you have to find a way to get your body moving every single day. It will save your sanity so much. Getting those good endorphins flowing is more beneficial than a whole pot of coffee. And I love my coffee, but I am just saying, you guys, getting exercise every day as a homeschooling mom is literally the only way I survive. I could not homeschool my kids every single day if I did not have a release in exercise. So whatever you're doing, walking, hiking, whatever it is, get your blood pumping. You will feel so much better. My third sanity saving tip is to create a ritual for yourself. Whether you're a morning person and you want that morning ritual before your kids get up, or you're a night person like me and you have a nighttime ritual, give yourself some self-care in the aspect of, for me, for instance, at night, I usually will take a bath. I will use my specific bath products. I love Lush um, bath products. They're like bath bombs. I use Epsom salts if I'm really sore, some lavender oil, whatever it is. I take a bath. I go downstairs after everyone goes to bed because my husband wakes up very early, so he kind of goes to bed when the kids do. I make my vanilla chamomile tea. I sit down. I watch YouTube. I watch some ridiculous TV show. I maybe might read. I just have a nighttime ritual that is really just for me. And I have grown to love it. I am working on a morning ritual, which is getting better now that I have more white space in my day. Um, but I definitely love my nighttime one and it totally helps me stay sane. So that is my third tip for sanity as a homeschooling mom. My fourth tip goes along with that one is to make sure that you are getting some alone time. Like I, I don't get alone time every day, so I'm not going to tell you, you need to get alone time every day, but I definitely try to do something by myself, even if it's an errand or, um, it's not something fun, but I just want to be by myself with no one talking to me just so I can, you know, whatever, get lost in my thoughts or just kind of not even think, just kind of be like alone in that space of not doing anything. So if you are not getting alone time, you will probably feel that in your level of sanity. So whatever it is, grocery shopping, dropping library books off, going and getting gas, like just try to take some time for yourself to be alone. Um, and I think that that helps moms stay sane. And the fifth thing that 
I think is a sanity saver in my own life is having a community of women and moms who understand the struggles of what you're going through. So if you're a mom of preschoolers, find some other moms that you like who have preschoolers. If you're a homeschooling mom, find some other homeschooling moms that help. Um, just not, you don't have to be best friends with these people, but just having people who know what it's like to do your day is largely helpful. Um, when I was a young mom of four kids under four, um, I, I was a young mom when I started having kids. And so my friends who were my friends before were definitely not having children. And then I was, I always felt like I was too young and I was kind of judged and frowned upon in like the 30 mom range, like with all the gymboree classes and all this, they all looked at me like I was like some teenager or something. Um, so when I had young, my kids were young, I did not have that community or that village support. And I definitely felt more isolated and more alone in that time of life than ever before. So now um, being you know older, and my kids are older of course, um, I feel that a little bit less, but even still sometimes. Um, but I do have a good homeschooling group where we, um, you know, we see each other once a week at park days. And um, it's just nice to know that there are other people who understand that struggle because your struggle as a mom of preschoolers is going to be different than a mom of teenager struggle. So just make sure you've got some type of community for whatever stage of mom life you're in. And I think that that will help save your sanity as well. So those are kind of my top five tips for staying sane as a homeschooling mom. I, as I said in the beginning of my video, if you have one, I would love to know. Um, or if you agree or disagree, let me know. I love to hear from from all of you guys out there and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.